Well, hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some of the best body moisturizers to keep your skin from looking like a lizard this winter. Yes. The medical term for that, by the way, is asteatosis. Now, in the winter, the humidity drops and moisture gets sucked right out of your skin, making it dry and more prone to irritation. You're also more likely to develop sensitivities to things that come in contact with the skin when it is dry, irritated, and inflamed. Using a moisturizer puts the brakes on transepidermal water loss, helps keep your skin hydrated and healthy. And I've got some fantastic ones here. Many of these are cruelty free, by the way. I will point out which ones are. A moisturizer that just doesn't get the attention it deserves for dry skin is Cetaphil Pro Eczema Soothing Moisturizer. I love this so much because it's really got some novel ingredients. Of course, it's got colloidal oatmeal, which is rich in humectants, beta-glucans, antioxidants, all these wonderful things that can help restore your moisture barrier. But this product also has a proprietary synthetic ceramide plus filaggrin blend. Why is that important? Those are key constituents of the moisture barrier. And in people with eczema, those constituents are often lacking and applying them topically can help in restoring the moisture barrier. It's also got shea butter, which is wonderful for putting the brakes on that that transepidermal water loss along with the colloidal oatmeal. One of the best things about this product though, if you have eczema in particular, is that it doesn't sting. You know, if you have eczema, you know firsthand that when your skin is raw, red, and rashy, putting moisturizing cream on burns like the dickens. This is very gentle and does not have that stinging sensation. It absorbs really quickly. It's not greasy whatsoever. That's another thing that people with eczema just get so frustrated with having to grease up all the time. This achieves what you need it to do in terms of reducing transepidermal water loss and helping heal the moisture barrier, but it doesn't feel greasy whatsoever. You can use it on the face, by the way. All of these actually you can use on the face. What? All right, I already touched on the fact that colloidal oatmeal is fantastic in moisturizers. It's got avananthramides, which are antioxidants that can actually help boost up lipid production in the skin and reduce redness, and of course, help in repair and healing. Nobody does colloidal oatmeal better than good old Aveeno. Now, Aveeno came out with this line this year, their restorative skin therapy line, aimed at people with distressed skin. The entire line was clinically tested on patients undergoing oncology treatments. And those patients, because of their treatments, develop very sensitive, dry skin. And it was very this line was very well tolerated in those people, so you know it's going to be a good choice for dry skin and for winter skin especially. It also has panthenol in it, a wonderful humectant that helps with holding on to hydration. And panthenol is also anti-inflammatory, which is exactly what you need when you are coping with dry, irritated, inflamed skin. This is fantastic. And their corresponding body wash is also really wonderful. I mentioned it in my top body wash video. All right, the next body moisturizer I personally have been loving, and it is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Overnight Hydration Cream. This is new this year, and initially when I first started using it, I was like, mm, okay, it's sort of just like any other moisturizing cream. I liked that it absorbed really quickly and didn't leave that greasy residue. But with ongoing use, I have definitely noticed an improvement in the softness of my skin that's maintained throughout the day. Adding hydration into the skin that lasts 24 hours like it claims to, I have definitely appreciated that personally. I've gotta tell you guys, I, um, got a little lax earlier this year with body moisturizing. I just kind of got lazy with it. What? And as a result, my background keratosis pilaris on my arms kind of started creeping out. This has completely alleviated that. Keratosis pilaris, if you're not familiar, is a dry skin condition where you have just a, a little bit of difficulty turning over the skin cells around the hair follicle and you get this buildup of dry skin. It leads to these red little bumps on the hair follicle and using a moisturizer consistently is really key to staying on top of that. And the 
The other thing about this product that I particularly think makes it good for that condition and just for hydration overall is that it has polyhydroxy acids. It's got zinc gluconate and copper gluconate. Now, polyhydroxy acids, as a reminder, are phenomenal humectants. They add a lot of hydration to the skin, but they also very, very, very gently exfoliate the skin so they can help lift up that dry, built up stuff. When the skin becomes dry, you, you get you know, these, this kind of crusty stuff. It's what's occurring around the hair follicles and keratosis pilaris. And you know, you might experience it like on your elbows and knees. And when that happens, that kind of built up stuff, it gets in the way of the function of the moisture barrier. So you do kind of gently, gently is a key, need to exfoliate that either with an ingredient like polyhydroxy acid or just by using a washcloth and doing some circular motion. So I really have personally loved this product and I've been using it for um, close to two and a half months now and I'm about down to here. I have a backup of it though. I'm gonna continue to use it. All right, y'all know how much I love the Altarez brand. I, but uh, honestly, they've mostly been sunscreens. Up until this point this year, they came out with a dry skin repair cream. That is amazing. I mean, I was a little like, are they gonna do non-sunscreen as well? They did. This product is fantastic. It has 10% urea in it. Now, urea is a wonderful ingredient for helping with moisture retention. It helps boost up the production of natural moisturizing factors within the skin. So it's gonna make your skin um, a better moisture barrier. And it also softens that dry, crusty stuff that needs to kind of come off. And so it helps gently exfoliate the skin. This also has an ingredient called peroctone olamine in it. Now that ingredient is antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory. But for those of you folks out there who have skin conditions related to that little yeast that lives on everyone's skin, malassezia, <laughs> peroctone olamine can actually help with that. So if you have tinea versicolor on the body, if you have seborrheic dermatitis, and if you have fungal acne, like on the chest, for example, uh, the peroctone olamine can kind of help in reducing the burden of yeast. It's also anti-inflammatory. So I love that this product has that in it as well. Just the consistency overall, it's ultra rich. It's ultra rich, luxe feeling. I mean, if you didn't know that this was like some clinically, clinical type, uh, you know, no nonsense cream, you could easily be duped into thinking that you were, that you were using something luxe. I mean, honestly, it's, it's so much, so much about your belief about a product can be distilled into what's on the front of the of the packaging of the packaging those of you in the uk this is easily available to you it's inexpensive uh you know if you choose to have it sent to the us you do have to pay the shipping and duties one thing i really love about this brand is that they give a portion of their proceeds to a phenomenal charity called under the same sun which helps people in Africa, uh, living with albinism, get them the resources that they need. And this brand is cruelty free. For those of you out there who are always asking me about dark elbows and dark knees, um, using urea is really good because it helps soften and exfoliate any dry built up stuff so that the moisture barrier functions better. Um, but it doesn't aggravate any potential underlying hyperpigmentation that could be going on. Uh, in fact, it's just by improving how the moisture barrier functions, it actually can help uh, reduce inflammation that would otherwise aggravate and exacerbate that hyperpigmentation on your elbows and knees. Obviously, you cannot go wrong with CeraVe moisturizing cream. I know I talk about this in pretty much every moisturizer video, but you guys, I mean, it's just that good. However, many people find that this product burns and stings. And so, you know, I there's no way to predict who or why that happens. It just happens for some people. But it tends to be more of an issue when applying it to the face, that burning and stinging sensation, than the body. So I definitely would encourage you to try this out if you haven't already. It is highly worth the hype. Free of fragrance, this, unlike some of their other products, does not have niacinamide. Now niacinamide, you guys know I love to bits, but I do know that for many of you it causes irritation. Some people are just more sensitive to that ingredient than others. And a lot of the CeraVe products do have niacinamide, but this does not. So definitely check it out. 
hyaluronic acid to add hydration to the skin and it's not heavy at all it's not heavy it's not greasy it absorbs really quickly into the skin eucerin is a brand that i don't think has a bad product um but this product if you're new to eucerin definitely check this out for a body moisturizer it is it is amazing. It is um, a, their original healing cream, super rich. This is so rich and so thick that I think you would not really enjoy using it on the face. This product, like the Altruist, has peroctone olamine in it. I mean, look at how thick that is, you guys. Um, it's really thick. No water is gonna escape out of the skin with this. It's like a paste, almost. It's almost encroaching on balm territory. Speaking of balm, comment below on if you guys want a balm video. I did one last year, but I've got some newer, more, more, more better. <laughs> I've got some newer balms to recommend to you guys, which are really good, obviously, for uh, windburn. So comment below on if you guys want an updated winter balm video. Um, anyways, this loved to bits it's got petrolatum in it for really putting the brakes on transepidermal water loss it does have lanolin in it which some people can become allergic to so if you're allergic to lanolin this is a no-go uh, so this is really good if you have sensitive skin although if you are allergic to lanolin you have to avoid this it does have lanolin in it lanolin is a uh, fatty wax alcohol that just helps with reducing water loss from the skin another one that you should not ever sleep on if you're in the market for a moisturizer is the Vanny Cream. This, like, Eucerin, like the Eucerin brand, is another brand that you can blindfold me, hand me a product, and I can stand here and recommend it. They have amazing products, especially for people with sensitive skin, eczema, because they avoid common allergens. Unlike the Eucerin one, this does not have lanolin in it, so that's great if you have a sensitivity to lanolin. It's got petrolatum in it for sealing in transepidermal water loss, uh, and it also has some silicones. It's got methicone in it which is great for creating more of a, a reducing kind of the overall greasiness of the feel of the moisturizer it, it helps and it helps seal in trans epidermal water loss this is a product that is new to me this year and I've really been loving and I think it's a great face and body moisturizer it is by rovectin which is a korean brand this is cruelty free the rovectin product has ceramides in it which are going to be helpful for skin barrier restoration it also has um astaxanthin <laughs> an antioxidant that uh is thought to potentially be competitive with vitamin c as far as uh, appeal, but the jury's still out on that. Uh, anyways, it has astaxanthin in it. <laughs> Gosh, that's a mouthful. It also has moringa seed oil, which is an emollient. And moringa seed oil, in theory, has a lot of antioxidants too that can help fight off free radical damage and just kind of help with repair and healing and a great cruelty-free option for those of you guys in the market for cruelty-free. Speaking of which, this is another one. It's not inexpensive, but it's very good. It's by Mistella, which is a French pharmacy brand. Don't sleep on this, you guys, because even though it's a brand for babies, like whatever, um, it's very nice. They have many nice products. And this is one of my favorites, the Stealatopia uh, Emollient Cream. Why I like this so much is it has a sunflower seed oil distillate. Now sunflower seed oil is a plant oil that's actually pretty good for the skin, uh, the skin barrier. It has a higher ratio of linoleic acid to oleic acid. And remember, those fatty acids, uh, that ratio is helpful in predicting how useful the oil is going to be for the skin. Oleic acid can actually be very irritating and inflammatory. Whereas linoleic acid is anti-inflammatory. If you want to get really geeky, sunflower seed oil, because it is high in linoleic acid, that results in an increase in keratinocyte proliferation, facilitating repair and healing, and it also increases lipid synthesis. <laughs> uh, so that's great. Um, th that is actually great. <laughs> uh, it's very helpful, and so as a result, sunflower seed oil is a good 
oil as an emollient in moisturizers. You don't need to go out and find sunflower seed oil and try layering it on 10 different ways to Sunday in your skincare routine. Vaseline Intensive Care Advanced Repair. I used this a lot last winter and it really did the trick. I say winter, but in full transparency, I live in Houston. So really that just means like 70 degrees instead of 103. <laughs> Um, but whatever, we turn on the heaters and it dries out the skin. As a side note, it gets so humid here in the summertime that you could go outside with a bar of soap and generate a lather, and I'm not exaggerating that whatsoever. And so our winter, you know, it is it is a drop in humidity, so much so that it, it may, our skin is kind of like, <laughs> it, you know, kind of sh shifts things a little bit. Anyways, blabbing aside, I use this, uh, last winter quite a bit and I really enjoyed it. It's the Vaseline Intensive Care Advanced Repair. Um, it's got uh, mineral oil in it, which is wonderful, and petrolatum, a very short ingredient list. So those are my body moisturizer recommendations for the upcoming winter season. Comment below, is it super cold where you guys are? Are you getting like a lot of snow? Let me live vicariously through you. Actually, today is a cold day. Um, it's raining and drizzling. And so I'm not actually enjoying that. As much as I like to, you know, dig at the humidity and heat here, I prefer it to being cold. I hope you guys are having a great week. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.